tried the ABS several times, really several times, worked every single time. No faults. Okay, and I still have obviously gears and drive. It looks like it was just the fuse. Now, why the fuse was like that? I don't know. It could be that, that, that there is still an issue. It could be that, that, that there is still an issue. It could be that, that, that there is still an issue. And the smart is back. <laughs> Even rhymes. <laughs> and the smart is back. Right. So yeah, so the car came back uh, with the exact same problem. No engaging gears, uh, lights on, all that good stuff. But before we even tackle this uh let me take a little bit through the last clip you've seen so that was the last uh, uh clip of the original video for this car um in there i said i might modify the video but i have already deleted the clips so i would have to grab the original video and start to edit so i just decided to do a new video for this uh which hopefully will be quite shortly uh, quite short so so yeah the car came back so as i said in there on that last clip it's a very hit and miss. I mean, fuse is blown, you put a new fuse, fuse stays okay. How are you gonna trace a problem like this back? It's not impossible. So, um, I decided to deliver the car the way it was. Uh, I went for a road test, as I've showed you as well. No problems at all. Uh, and the car has been running absolutely fine for two weeks, guys. This is like two weeks after. Now, a couple days ago, the owner actually asked, well, he rang me and said, look, the car is having the same problem. And I didn't even remember what I've done to the car. So I had to go through my paperwork. And as soon as I realized, I rang the guy and said, look, actually, I'll go to you because if the problem is the same, I think I know how to fix it, uh, at least temporarily again. So I went in there and indeed the fuse was blown. Put another fuse and the fuse, I've tried two different fuses. Well, I've tried two fuses and they blown immediately, guys. Immediately. As soon as you turn the key on, they would go. Okay, uh, so he recovered the car to me, and I've just started to work on the car two minutes ago, or just before I start to record the video, and guess what? Yes, guess what? It's not acting up now. It's now blowing. So I'm going to show you. I don't have the tripod for the phone because I think I misplaced it because of something that's been happening. Which later on you guys will understand. I've been through some rough days lately. Okay, so the fuse is there. 15 amps is the second fuse from your left. So that one in there. The fuse is good. As you might just be able to see. I'm going to turn the ignition on. And as you can see. The fuse stays okay. I'm going to also start the car and show you oh dear that the ABS light goes off and there's no lights and that gears actually engage okay so I have drive again okay so obviously you need to watch the original video which I will leave in the in the description below to understand what we're doing here now and why I'm starting to work on the car like this. If you are just watching this video, it will not make sense. Uh, for you guys that follow the channel, if you watch the other video, this will make much more sense. So, what I'm, so I've done a little bit of uh, work yesterday, uh, yesterday night, because I've worked a little bit on the car in the afternoon, uh, got it scanned, same problem. Uh, same fault in there from when the fuse was blowing. So same faults as the original video, etc, etc. I went through diagrams again. Um, and there was one thing that caught my attention. So, let me explain you this so it makes sense. So stay with me from now as I explain this. So, what caught my attention guys was the following. On the circuitry, on the diagrams fuse 18 on top of everything that feeds that I've told you already on the other video please watch the other video but it feeds 
um, airbag, ABS module, uh, and something else, I can't remember now. There is one thing that it fits as well, which is the buckle, the seat belt buckle uh, switch. Uh, and it fits that with 12 volts. So there is one wire that comes straight from that fuse into the seat belt buckle, and from there goes back into the airbag module. And the thingy is this thing here. Oop, show you. This comes straight into this on the driver's side only. There's no, no, there isn't. There is no switch on the passenger side, only on the driver's side. And that made me wonder. That made me wonder. Obviously, the seat is going to be moved back and forwards. So I had to move the seat forward uh, to get to the car. I'm, I'm a, a, a short guy, I'm not that tall. Um, the owner of this car is, is quite tall, so the seat was all the way back. So I start wondering, hmm, is that gonna be my problem? And uh, before I started this video, I've done a couple checks and look what I found. I really hope the camera is gonna capture this. Ah, crap. What can you see there? I don't know if the camera is going to capture the live wires in there. But this is my problem, guys. This is what is happening. So this cable got trapped in there. And obviously every now there is live wires here. I'm going to try to zoom in. See if you can see it. You're going to lose quality, obviously. But I think you can perhaps see in there. Can you see the live wires? I really hope you can. So these wires have been obviously touching the seat as he moves back and forwards. As you put the seat belt, like that, etc, etc. And that's my problem. So I think uh, what I'm going to do is, perhaps, even because, where is this supposed to be, this thing here? Oh, this, this is supposed to be somewhere protecting the wires. Oh, sorry guys this garment here maybe so let's go into uh, perhaps remove the seat and uh, get this repaired and protect it from happening again obviously okay removed the seat and now is a little bit more understandable why this happened so the wire the cable is going through there but the cable is actually supposed to go through there that's why this garment here because this clips in there Okay, but the cable was through there, so that's why it started to call. And obviously you can see way better now exactly where is it. So there it is. Okay, so we're going to strip this um, insulation on the outside. Uh, and see how the cable is and isolate all these again. Um, and put it back in place and should be okay. And just before we do it, as you can see, the red wire is actually good. It's only the black, but even if these two wires would short, the only thing would do is would say the seat belt was on when it wasn't, uh, or vice versa. Uh, but yeah, that's it's not completely gone through yet. So the only thing is gone is a couple strands. So we're going to isolate this properly. Not going too much of fuss about with this. And. Uh, Put the garment in place, job done. And just one last thing, sorry about that. So another thing is because the cable was there, look what happens when this goes that way. See, it was there and that it would trap the cable. So that's how it happened. And this is how the cable should be routed. So completely away from that sort of hinge there, which obviously cut through the cable and on the inside through there and that's it let's gonna put the seat back in place uh, replace that 15 amp fuse with the right rate 10 amp only reason why I've been using 15 is because I'm really really low on 10 amp fuses I think I have like a couple of them believe me or not so uh, so yeah I know it's not ideal but uh, but yes, uh, so we'll put the right rate in there. But for now, let's kind of put the, these back and test the car. Okay, all in place, the right fuse in place. 
all done. Start the car. No lights. Okay. Look at that. So the seat belt light comes on when you close the door. I still have reverse. Yeah. Yeah, start half drive. Let me put the seat belt in place. Whoop. Good stuff. Okay, so basically we found the issue this time and I'm really happy with that because it could have been an absolutely nightmare to find uh, a problem like this, especially when I got here um, and the fuse was now blowing again and literally when I went to look at the car um, uh, a couple days ago where the car actually was the fuse was blowing constantly uh, I've tried three fuses and they were just gone immediately and then I got here today again to work on the car or when I worked on the car the first time when it was dropped here again guess why everything was good uh, but luckily um, I found the issue and and this time thankfully to the diagrams so the only reason why I went to here first was because it just caught my attention on the diagrams uh, so before I start to get the ABS unit is under the car I believe it is uh, obviously the airbag unit is somewhere God knows where and this was my easiest uh, access point so that's why I went to the easiest place first but uh, because it was so um, intermittently and I thought about I don't know guys I think it's a little bit of experience as well uh, I've seen that to the buckle of the seat belt and I thought I'm gonna mean it this is the seat is gonna move back and forwards could this be my issue and actually it was so this time is resolved I'm happy with that and I hope this makes sense to you guys as well uh, and that's it hope you enjoyed the video hope there's some information here you guys can find it useful and like always thank you for watching